Hey guys, and welcome back to Trag, or Hard Edge, whatever you prefer. Now, whilst I was waiting for my computer to do some stuff, I decided to come back here and have a little run around. And, would you Adam and Eve it? I found a switch in this room. Should we push it? Toggle it? Uh, yeah. There was a loud sound as if something heavy moved. Okay. Something heavy where? Something heavy in here? Doesn't look like... There's a tank filled with refrigerant liquid. Okay. Well, let's have a little look. If I move my keyboard out of the way. In here. Okay. Uh, right. Well... Isolated area. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, not a hundred percent sure what's moved. Control panel. Did this move? It's the power source for the machines. I have no idea. Okay, let's get out of here anyway. Is this moved? Ah, is it? What has it moved then? Oh, I see what's moved. Look behind us. In the map. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put the night vision on. Ah, uh, the monsters come back in this room, unfortunately. Right, let's... Okay, he's dead. Nice and quick-like. Yeah, we can aim at this guy. But for some reason, couldn't kill him. Strange. Right. Ah, he dropped some... bullets, I guess. Okay, so if we can go back here... And this has changed. Ah. But where does it go? It's different, right? It is different. Hmm. Oh, we've got mines. So is this a secret? Or is it something that we had to find? Doesn't appear to be anything to lock onto. Oh, God, mines. get away from that if we can it's a large flower pot well I can see that Alex I see uh, oh god I guess what did I expect down there found a first aid kit nice found a first aid kit nice another one yes um they're the four hills Sweet. Okay. Can we open this door? It's a switch. Press it? Sure. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, what's that? It's a room with a certain constant temperature and humidity. Ah, uh, okay. There's some glowing moss. Take it. I guess. Uh, what's that about then? Glowing moss. Uh, item. Revive with full life after death. Uh, yeah? That's like some super secret room. Okay. Great. So we got like three extra full hills, which is pretty bloody nice. And we have an extra life, so to speak. Yeah, not bad. Oh, yeah, all right. Just put the night vision on. 
God, this guy's a dick. Oh, yes, yes, brilliant. Yes, let's aim at the guy that's over the other side of the room. Fantastic. Ugh. Those guys are pretty rough, actually. Well, at least I can hit him from over there. Right, I think we can now continue. Ooh, more bullets. Yeah, we're just getting the wrong type of bullets, though. I feel that it is virtually impossible to run out of ammo in this game. Which is fine, I guess. Okay, now we can move on. That was pretty interesting. So we've got some moss that will restore life. Uh, I wonder if that's like the only one... Oh well, yeah, we need the handle, don't we? Uh, okay. Where was the handle? Ah, oh, it's all the way... I remember where the handle was. It's by the dust chute, wasn't it? Um, that's... Actually a decent way away. I guess we can't go through here. It's an extremely tough door. Impossible to break through. Right, as we're at a safe spot, we'll just drop a save state. Okay. So, where does this lead? It's a control panel for the lift. The lift is working. Good. I like my lifts to work. Now, where does this go? So, we can only ascend. We can't descend. That's fine. Oh, we can now shut down the barrier. Wait. Have we got all the keys? Ah. On the ground floor. Have we got all the keys now? That's not what we want. We do. Okay, so we can go do that. Um, we could also go get the handle and spin it around and see if we get anything there. I'm guessing that's going to be some kind of bonus. Or maybe we do have to go there, I'm not sure. But let's go get the power handle and see what that's going to give us. Yeah. Drop a save state at the save station. Right. So, uh, now where was that? Was it on the 26th floor? Oh, you can't access the map here. Ugh. Right. Uh, ah, we want to go to, yeah, 25th floor we want to go to. Okay. So we can get our power handle back. Uh... Now, this might be a complete and utter waste of time. Oh, well. I'm guessing it's going to move the floors around. But, it does move the floors around. How are we going to get back? Uh, we'll figure it out. It's probably, like, interconnected to something else somewhere. That seems to be the way this game likes to play things. Uh, right, yep. Yeah. So, straight through here and straight forward. Cool. Switch back up to the less powerful bullets, just because. Not that I think, you know, 100 is running low or anything like that. Don't be silly. Okay. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty confident. So with any luck, I can complete this game today, which would be nice. Uh, who needs health the most? Ooh, Michelle's pretty rough. All right, let's give some to Michelle. And then, is there anyone else in here? There should be one more. Yeah, there's another enemy yet. Well, technically two, I suppose, if you count the big bomb thing. Let's see if Michelle can handle this guy. It'd be nice if he gives us another heal. 
talking of hills, let's switch to something a little bit lower yield. Oh, hey, dude. Not sure why that guy just stands there. I, I'm guessing he's supposed to like ambush you if you get close enough, but he is slow in the brain. Like burn. Burns. Ah, oh, that sucked. That really sucked. Yeah, those enemies, they catch you. You get too close to them. Ah, well, this, on the other hand, might be worth it. We've definitely taken a wrong turn somewhere. That's for sure. Still, if these guys can give us some good health items, it would probably be worth it. Or, you know, they could give us nothing. That's also an option. I always go that that take that wrong turn there. No enemies in here? Alright, well I guess they don't respawn. I think um it depends what door that you, what door you come back through. Whether an enemy respawns or not. At least it seems to be. Now there shouldn't be any need to go back down again. Yeah, well. Ah. I was going to say, maybe we can't take it. Maybe we need to find another one, but nope. We picked up the power handle. So is this going to be a Brucey bonus or is it going to be a huge fat waste of time? Let's find out. Kind of hoping we're going to get something cool for this. But I'm also not quite holding my breath. I've got a feeling that this is somewhere where we probably have to go to... Ooh. No? No enemies, apparently. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what was making that noise. Yeah. We'll see. Let's find out together. Oh, it's a shame we just can't go straight down to the basement. That would have been really cool. Come on. There we go. Uh, nothing? Right, let's have a little look. Please be something good. Something worth our time. I mean, admittedly, we've just got, like, a load of full hills, which is pretty cool. And the ability to come back from the dead, apparently. Which, uh, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. I'm pretty sure we just kind of... Oh, I remember this area. Right. Yeah, because we couldn't use that before, could we? Alright, let's go down. Now. Let's go use our magical wonder power wheel thing. And see what it's going to give us. Uh... Fingers crossed it's something good. Use the power handle, I guess. Ooh, this is actually like a cutscene here. So, hopefully we're not skipping too far ahead. Yeah, so that just moves. the path, which is what I thought it would do. Okay. So we can still escape from here. Good to know. Now hopefully this isn't the way we're supposed to be going. Ah. Oh, this is like the coffin room. It's not possible to open it from this side. What the hell is this? Freaking treasure chest? Found a black EX bottle. Ah. Black EX bottle. So yeah, I guess it was just a random bonus. 
said anything else in here there's a laboratory next door yeah we've already come back we've already been here treasure chest that's so bizarre that it the game even tells you like, oh there's a treasure chest there it's like ah uh, okay game sure it's actually a very difficult walkway to get onto so we can increase somebody else's health by a hundred I don't know whose health I want to increase by a hundred uh, yes right okay I'm guessing we can't actually take the power handle back okay so at least we know where we're going now we need to go straight up and deactivate the What do you call it? The electrical discharge. So, my friends, let's go do that. Use the lift. I. Okay, so. Can't go through there. Um, yes. Yeah, sometimes the scenes don't necessarily transition. But I have noticed that these scenes transition really quickly. They're almost instantaneous. In fact, they are like instantaneous. Now the thing with like Resident Evil and games like that, there was always like a pause. It wasn't a long pause, but it was there. Uh, but this game really switches scenes fast. Kind of like that right now. The discharge room was 26. So, let's go. Room 26. Or floor 26, I should say. Speed! Oh, the, the, the whole fact of fast-forwarding on an emulator is just incredible to me. Uh, now, we want to go this way. Kind of be nice to get some health along the way. If that's a thing that can... Oh, maybe... Yeah, this guy is way stronger. Unfortunately, he did a significant amount of damage to us as well, which is kind of sad, and he didn't give us anything either. Ah, there is another one over here. Okay. He's just quite happy to let us walk up to him and kick him in the face, which, you know, I'm happy to oblige. Kind of strange though. Yes. There's only a small life up, but. Oh! Hello. I'm happy to take a small life up. Better than a small life down. What about you, dude? Nope. You give me nothing. Disappointed. Very disappointed in you, son. Ah, robots. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to fight the robot. There's very little point. We don't really get anything for fighting them. I think they do drop life ups, but oh god. Yeah, this thing is almost definitely not worth fighting, but... We are doing a lot of damage to it, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe. I mean, it might just be easier to fight and defeat it than actually, like, move past. So, there is that. I'm glad we don't have to fight that red one again. That red one really sucked. Just did so much more damage. And, yeah, these claws on this one definitely don't seem to hurt you. Whereas the red one definitely was a proximity thing. As soon as you got close to it, it just hurt like hell. Are you going to drop anything? No. So, can confirm. They are absolutely pointless fighting them. Okay. Now, we should be able to turn off the discharge. For whatever that's going to do. Uh, right. Looks like we found the discharge management system. There are three slots. Yes, we know this. Uh, yes. Thank 
you. Um. Okay. It is working. It's just working very, very slowly. The discharge has stopped. We should now be able to cross that area. Excellent. Now, call me a pessimist, guys, you know, but does that feel like a boss room to you? Kind of feels like a boss room to me. Just saying, okay. Wait a minute. I'm going to put down a safety save. Oh, God. Right, yeah, I forgot about all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe it's not a boss room. Oh god, hello. Um, let's just run. Oh god. I would say let's just run, but I guess this robot didn't get the memo. <sighs> wow, this uh robot has a hell of a lot of health. Ah, oh, God, that hurts. It's very difficult here to tell how close to this robot we actually are. Uh-oh, he's going to do his annoying little kick you in the face trick. And fighting that guy was absolutely 110% not worth it. Well, no, not worth. All right, well, whatever. Okay. Ooh, that leads to an elevator. All right. Ooh, this looks fancy. Ooh. We've got some very... Ooh, God. Oh, fuck you. We have some very... Ooh. We have some... Very different uh, music here. Yeah, not going to fight that guy. It's a bed. Good. Is there anything in here? Ooh, red, ooh, yeah, red XE bottle. Very nice. Do we don't have to fight that robot. We can just run past it. I'm okay with that. I actually didn't even realize it was a robot. I thought it was something that was going to crush us. Let's get some health back. Okay. So we've got some EX bottles. Uh, I don't really know who to give the health to. Uh, red. Like 50 points. Should we just give that to Michelle? I mean, that, she's got nearly 500 health now. That's a lot. guess Alex maybe because he's got the gun sure well we've made our decisions now all right oh god stop doing that for a start and I actually want to be Michelle <laughs> okay what's behind this door Computer is operating. That's good. Um, <laughs> you made it this far. Not forgot bad. about you. Not bad. Yeah, I forgot about him. That is correct. But I'm afraid a little late. I am. What are you playing at, Brenham? Oh, that's Brenham. A little game of tag is at an end. And it's time to go. Except you'll be leaving in rather a spectacular way. In little pieces. <laughs> along with this building. <laughs> I do, don't brag. So 
So we're we gonna fight or no? He's just gonna very slowly walk off. Yeah, Alex, you never would have caught him, man. Okay. Well, that was something. Hear that hard drive loading away. Attack point. Going to attack the building <gasps> in 60 minutes. <gasps> oh no. Well, that'd be awful. In another 60 minutes, the Garland system will target this building and attack. Oh no. And there's a nuclear reactor in the basement. <gasps> There's got to be some way to stop this. There is one way only. What is it, Rachel? Miguel will use the software the system's in to send an activation signal to the Garland system satellite. We've got to block that signal. Okay. Sounds reasonable. But how? Use the energy pack inside my body. But you'll that die. But if we do that, what will happen to you? If my cybernetic brain runs out of power, it will shut down completely. <gasps> no. Rachel, you don't have to. Don't worry about me. We've got to find a place to set up the field. Fast! <laughs> kind of difficult to get any emotion out of that when she's smiling like a Cheshire cat. Are you? Oh my god, we actually do have a timer countdown. Okay, I'm uh, going to put a save down. <laughs> right. That's uh, that's not 50 minutes though, is uh, that's that, that's that's definitely not that long. Okay, so we're not going to generate electromagnetic waves from this room. Oh, hang on. I wonder what happens if we let the timer run out completely. Should we try it? We like put a safety save down and then fast forward. I'll uh, I'll meet you guys here in a minute. Well, <clears throat> it's uh, it's been a real pleasure, guys. We're about to sit down and enjoy this last magical moment together. I hope something happens after all this, not just game over. Oh, cool. We actually do get a cutscene. And there's the space shuttle. Ironically enough. Could have stopped it the whole time. The UN Space Force Killer Satellite. That's a name and a half. Quite the iron cannon. Well, I guess uh, instead of sitting there in that room for the last hour, they should have probably, you know, uh, worked on, well, 
surviving. Whoa, that is a thick laser. Whoa. Okay. I expected that to be significantly bigger than that. Okay. It's barely sufficient. The way it ruptured through the clouds there. Ah, so Volt is alive. And he's escaped into the Garland system. So he gets his wish. He takes over the Earth because he inhabits the Garland satellite system, which definitely couldn't be taken out of action with the well-placed ICBM or two. Hmm. Okay. Maybe they've maybe they've banned nuclear weapons in this far future of 2040 something who knows anyway so that's another ending i guess if you can call it that uh i'm gonna end the video here when we come back uh we're actually gonna you know try and i guess complete the game we'll see so till then guys thanks for watching